Hello and welcome back to my channel Health Tutorial. In this video, today I am going to tell you how to simulate uh, VYF control of a three phase induction motor. Okay, so at first we will take one power GUI block. Okay, double click on it. And the sample time I will keep 50 e power minus 6. Now go to model setting and take here solver type fixed step and solver you can take discrete no continuous state and go to solver details and take here fixed step size 1 e power minus 6 simply apply and click ok now we will take one asynchronous machine okay so asynchronous machine si unit now double click on it and rotor type we must take squirrel cage okay so this will become squirrel cage induction machine and here squirrel cage preset model i will consider this one okay 5.4 hp 400 volt 50 hertz 1430 rpm so simply apply click ok now we have to provide supply to this asynchronous machine using a inverter okay so search for universal bridge okay flip it and make the connection like this double click on it and make it IGBT diodes okay based three phase inverter so as this is a inverter here we have to give some DC source so search for DC voltage source so choose this one DC voltage source and connect it Okay. Now, if we will go inside this, then we can see that this induction machine will require 400 volt, okay, at 50 hertz. So, accordingly, we have to give this DC voltage amplitude. So, 400 star SQRT of okay divided by sqrt of 3 and multiply with 2 okay because our inverter will generate peak to peak voltage at the inverter terminal okay so this we have to do okay now uh, here we have to give some torque so to apply some torque consider a constant just connect it and here you can initially consider zero and sample time you can take 50 e power minus 6 now this point will give some reading so to take the readings take one bus selector okay choose it connect it double click on the bus selector and here is the mechanical so generally we will require here speed and torque 
so select this two now signal one and signal two this will not require so simply remove it apply click ok now here we want to see means we want to visualize the speed as well as generated torque so we can take one scope okay so this is the speed and this one is the torque now take one gain okay and connect here actually this speed is coming in omega form mechanical speed so we have to connect it into uh, we, we have to convert it into rpm okay so easily we can convert it into rpm by dividing 60 divided by 2 star pi okay so whatever the speed we will get here this speed will be in rpm okay now we will take one display also so that easily we can visualize the speed now the plant is almost ready okay we have to design here the controller okay based on bvf control and this is just a open loop control okay i am not going to design here closed loop controller it will be just a open loop controller but it will be completely based on bvf control so bvf control means uh, we have to adjust B by F ratio in such a way that it should be stay constant so that uh, the stator flux will remain always constant. Okay, so this is the purpose behind the V by F control. So now we will take one constant block. Okay, and take here. Uh, some speed like 1430 okay and the sample time is 50 e power minus 6 click apply okay and name this constant as speed in rpm okay now this is the speed so from this speed easily we can uh, extract frequency because this uh, an rpm is nothing but 120 f by p okay using that formula so f easily we can compute from this so simply do like this so if i will take here one gain okay so what i am doing here so this is the linear speed so from this linear speed what we will do we will convert it into angular speed so simply we will multiply this one with uh, 2 star pi by 60 okay so this is omega m okay so this is omega m mechanical speed now we can convert this mechanical speed into electrical speed okay by simply multiplying it with number of pole p number of pole pairs okay so number of pole pairs is p and p is nothing but 2 for this taken machine so this is for converting okay omega m to omega electrical okay 
so here inside this if you will go and go to the parameters and here you can see pool pairs is equal to 2 so that we have to take here now this is a frequency okay now from this frequency we can calculate voltage amplitude also because uh, v by f v by f okay equal to constant so from this we can calculate v if we have already f so if we will consider per unit system then in per unit system the f per unit is equal to v per unit okay so from this concept from this concept we can easily get voltage amplitude also so now take one gain okay and this frequency quantity we will convert it into per unit okay by dividing it with 2 star pi star 50 50 is our base frequency in hertz okay so now this is your v per unit okay and this one we have used to convert into f per unit okay this so this two quantity will be significant here so now uh, from this quantity we can calculate omega t okay so how we can calculate omega t by processing this signal through an integrator okay so here we have to use one integrator so search for integrator okay so we have to take here discrete time integrator because we are working in discrete only okay so we have to take this discrete time integrator so what it will do this frequency quantity will be integrated and it will generate omega t okay but we have to do a little bit more work here in order to get the synchronizing coefficient that is actual omega t so how we can do that we have to take one math function okay so here it is the math function inside this we will have mod okay this modulo function so using this modulo function we can convert the integrated signal into omega t so take one here constant block and you have to connect here and this one should be 2 star pi the sample time should be 50 e power minus 6 okay so now this is actually omega t and this was our main purpose to get it okay because we have to generate one reference signal that reference signal will go to the pwm modulator and from there we will get pwm pulses and that pwm pulses will be applied to this inverter in order to control this three phase induction motor so now we will take function block okay double click on it but before that we will take max okay here it is the max connect here and this one should be connected here
Okay. So now this one will be connected here and inside this easily we can write the equation. So our purpose is to write Vm sin omega t. Okay. So Vm is nothing but u1. Okay. And star sin. Okay. Inside this omega t and omega t is second signal to the max. Okay. So u2. Okay. This is the omega t. Just close it. So this will give Vm sin omega t. So just apply click OK. So here we will get Vm sin omega t. Now again copy and paste it two times or one time. Connect it here. Go inside this and make it Vm sin omega t minus 2 star pi by 3. Okay. Just click apply. Okay. You can make it like this. Copy it and paste. And simply go inside this and make it plus okay so this will become bm sin omega t plus 2 pi by 3 so now connect it here so from this one you are getting bm sin omega t here bm sin omega t minus 2 pi by 3 and this is bm sin omega t plus 2 pi by 3 okay so all this three reference signal we got okay now we have to process these three signals through a pwm modulator so take one pwm two level modulator okay so this is the two level pwm generator and here we have to apply the reference signal so to apply these three signals together okay again we have to take one mux block so double click on it and press here 3. Now connect it. Okay. So uh, one thing is very important why we are taking this VM as per unit because taking per unit is very important here. Uh, this PWM modulator, whatever the reference signal it will take, that signal should be within plus minus one. Okay. So if we will consider per unit system here, then definitely the signal means VM will be within plus minus one okay because this is the modulating reference signal okay modulating reference signal so the magnitude of the reference signal should be within plus minus one now double click on it and here six pulse that's great and we can consider here 200 40 okay and here i will take 50 hertz okay so 200 kilohertz uh, sorry 2000 uh, kilohertz frequency switching frequency i'm considering here and this sample time should be 50 e power minus 6 simply apply click ok now take one go to from connect it here extract from this one from block now connect it here so what will happen whatever the PWM pulses it will generate that will go to this converter now our 
simulation is done okay almost it is finished model is ready we can start the simulation but before that we will use some measurement block I am adjusting this model because to visualize in one diagram only sorry in one screen only okay now uh, we will take one voltage measurement block and here we will observe the output of the three phase inverter terminal voltage okay so we should take one scope here now connect it so everything okay simply you can save the model now start running the model now simulation is started So you can see this is running at rated speed which we have chosen as RPM 1430. If I will double click on this, you can see the speed waveform and electromagnetic torque. Okay. So simply click here. Even you can choose to window or to viewport. Okay, so this is the speed and this one is the electromagnetic torque of the motor. And if you will go here and you can see the waveform which is uh, the terminal voltage of the inverter. Okay, so this is the terminal voltage of the inverter. Now if we will take one current measurement block, then simply you can add here like this. Connect it. Now you can visualize this current also. And I will take here very small value. So 0 0.08 I will check so that easily you can visualize the waveforms in the better way. So you can see voltage and current waveform. Okay. So this is the current waveform and here is the voltage waveform. If I will increase this load to 5 and if I will run the model, you can see again the waveform. Okay, even you can run for little bit more time like uh, 0 0.1. Let's simulate it and see the voltage and current. Okay. Now you can run for two seconds and see the voltage and current waveform. Okay, so it is working fine. There is no issue. So this is how we can uh, simulate BYF control of a three-phase induction motor in open loop. Okay. So hope this will be helpful and you can use this for your further research. 
for your further project whether you are in undergraduate or master or in your PhD uh, later I will make one more video on this and this open loop BYF control will be converted into closed loop BYF control so stay tuned please subscribe my channel